Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your cabin air filter in your 2015 is what we're doing. It will work for 2014 to 2019 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Now this should work for other Silverados as well, but I'm not 100% sure. So the one thing that you're going to need is a torque bit a torque 10 a t10 bit there's four screws and then all you really need after that is a new cabin filter so let's go ahead roll the intro and dive right in into this process it's really quick took me 10 minutes if that To remove the glove box the lower glove box box glove box you have to remove this screw here which is a t10 and this screw right over here is a little tougher to get to for the sake I've already got them unscrewed and then up top you have one here already got it out and this one I'll show you guys use the t10 bit so zip it out of there just like that and then I went ahead and I closed it and then pulled on it and with one hand with ease it comes out that is how you remove it <clears throat> and then our cabin filter is right there I'll show you guys that okay so now that we have the glove box out of the way this right here you got a tab and then there's another tab right over here kind of hard to see right there and then this will just pop out boom there's your air filter as you can tell ours is very dirty very dirty look at that so that is our cabin air filter I'm gonna go ahead and just set it down right there and then we got our new one that is the part number C A F 1914 P so now I've got the new air filter and we want to make sure the airflow is pointing up and then we're going to go ahead and squeeze that on in there. Back you guys up. Boom. Put this. Make sure you get both of those inside of there. You should hear a click. Another click. And now we're ready to put this glove box, glove box back in. To do so we got the retaining clips. There's four of them. There's one, there's two. And now we'll go ahead and put our screws back in. And these screws are a torque uh, 10, a T10. And they go right here. And there we go. Now we've got everything put back together. Everything screwed back in using that T10. And now we'll have some fresh cabin air. There we go, job well done. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We see you in another video. Go ahead and click that red subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know if this helped you. God bless.